Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cody Terror. Today I'm gonna code a hide and seek with this robot. So it's basically going to do two things, which is it's going to find me and uh, this the distance sensor here. It's going it, it's going to, if it sees an obstacle, whatever whatever side like whatever centimeter we say it should of like example 25 then it'll like, turn around and if it sees my me or my brother then he will he will uh set an alert alarm sound and it'll uh go like this when it finds me or my brother so let's go into the code. So first of all, you gotta drag out the when program starts, of course. And then you go to sounds. Sounds, then you go to start, drag out the start sound from the sounds icon. That's on the, that's on the left side of your mind turn that. So then, you gotta go and then you also connect it with your when program starts block and then you gotta go to movement blocks and then you drag out start moving blocks block and then also but, dra uh, but don't connect the start moving block right now you gotta drag out the also the set speed you can set any as much speed you want. I'm going to set it to 50 for now. By default, it's also 50, so I'm just going to and set then set motors A and B. That's my motors, so I'll set that. And if you don't know your motors, you can just go to the hub icon and uh, and you gotta connect your hub, and then you can see all where your motors are and where your uh, color sensor or whatever thing and then you gotta go to go to the control uh, uh, box area and drag out the forever loop and then drag the start moving straight block to be dragged out earlier and then you gotta drag out the if statement then you gotta go to sensors and what we're gonna do basically is the if if it's closer than whatever number you did you want it so mine is f so i'll change that closer than uh maybe i'll just do 15 for now and then you gotta drag uh, go movement again and drag out the um, where's the block drag out the move move it's by default saying straight move move straight for 10 centimeters but i want it to be turning when it sees like an obstacle like maybe a wall or anything and then I don't want to be centimeters, centimeters, but maybe because maybe it'll turn a bit less. So maybe we can, you can just play around with the numbers. I'm going to do 20 for now. So put that code off to the side for now. And then you got to now we're it's basically a new thing that we're going to do. It it is machine learning, and machine learning is like when it's like for hide and seek like example if you if the phone will go here and then it'll say it'll it'll sense where uh, the camera of the phone will sense like go the robot is going to go automatically so it'll sense it'll go while it's going it's going to sense where is me or my brother so let's go so first when you uh, you will be seeing like a wires kind of thing after the gaming controller and uh, a, a paper kind of thing so it's a third button on your right side of your screen click on that and then when you click on that you will see a library button that's on the bottom button of 
this uh, the thing that will show you when you click on the wire things. Then you click on a new model after you click on the library. Then there will, two things will come: audio and image. Image is photo. So when then you if it's basically by default it's already on image. So you can choose. If you want audio, then it'll like example if you say hello, then it'll say hello back. So, but for now the code I'm making is hide and seek. So I'm gonna do image create. Then press on create after you press on image. Then after you press on create, you will click on add a class. So click on that, and then just take. Just take more photos, not only one, because then the the robot will take more guesses. And you may uh, for first we are gonna just gonna do your own face. You can do three or two people. You can do as much people as you want. Like the maximum is better three or two. So um, my brother and my pictures. Uh, I'm going to do it. When you take a picture and say done, you can take if you're doing two, then you can rename and you. And when are you done with all the photos that you did, you, all the like photos that you did for the other person and uh, your uh, yourself, then what uh, you have to uh, then you will be done and you will see you will see a button on the bottom of the screen, train model. You click on that and then it'll train your model it'll load and after it's trained the model then you go back to your board. so i've already trained my model and uh, when you're done uh, you can see on your screen how much is it saying if it's an example basically max uh, usually you can only do not do with one photo you can only do with two so I train my model and you will see a bar. My bar is 100% that means it the machine no uh, the my device knows that it's me. So let's um, now let's go. And I forgot to tell you guys that in the if statement that we did the move and turn for 20 centimeters, we can even do operators and why operators and after going operator, you will see pick random block. And why pick random block? So then it'll take more chances because then it'll take more chances. Like example, like not only 20 is like, it'll not go proper. Like it's not gonna go proper. But if you do pick random, it'll pick a, a, a random number from whatever number that you did and whatever other number you did. For now I'm gonna do just 15 and 20. Again, you can just play around with the numbers, but for me, I think it's better if you do 15 and 20. Okay, now when you're done training your model, you'll go to down, and you will see this blue block machine learning. Click on that, okay, and then drag out the when prediction is whatever you named your your block, whatever you did, named your training photos, whatever you named it. You just click on it mine is already correct so then when it sees me then it should be going then it should uh, go then go to the sound and it should say then the sound should be alert that means found you found you so we go to start sound it's saying by default it's saying cat meow but then click on the oval shape thing and then click on add sound and then just go to library and then on fresh you will see alert that's how it sounds like and then when it, you click on it it'll say edit uh, on the bottom of the screen it'll be two things edit sound add to canvas you can edit your sound if you want it to be a little like better or like a little small or better whatever you can add many different things. And you can plus you can even make your own sound. So and but for me I'm just gonna choose alert and and then I press add to canvas that you will see 
bottom of her screen. And if you want to add your own sound, you can go to record sound, but it uh, it's going to come on your uh, screen, your device that you will be using for code. And then after you're done with one, then you go back to the same area. Oops. Go to go back to the same machine learning uh, icon. And then you gotta drag out same block that we did earlier. Click and alert. But I need to make my other name that I Okay, when that's all done, you can try it out. So you let's go try it out. So we have already tried it out, so and that's it for today. And if you want to know how to build this awesome, cool looking robot, comment down below. And if you if there are some wrong things in your code, then comment down below also. And then I'll explain you more. So have a good day, bye.